Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions slash review on the NARS stick foundation and I've never tried out stick foundation and this is the first stick foundation that I have ever tested. Well, I haven't even tested it yet. So this is my first time actually using this product and it is in the color Khartoum, which is the capital of North Sudan. If you're wondering what color it is, darkest shade Khartoum Dark 4. I already primed my face and I used the hydrating primer base from Kat Von D so if that's what you're wondering like what did I use to prime my face that's what I used to prime my face so I'm gonna stop talking too much and I'm just gonna get into my first impression slash review on this NARS mattifying found stick foundation it comes with this weird brush thing that feels a bit really really hard and um, I really hate hard spongy things like this because like a hard beauty blender uh, well a tough beauty blender is really hard to blend out so I don't know if I'm gonna really like this and it's gonna take too much time to blend it so like I already do not like the what's it called this spongy thing and it's too small of, what? I'm not gonna go damp it unless I'm supposed to damp it and then the foundation is on this side so um the foundation is in the darkest shade, which looks a bit too light for me, but it is the darkest shade, so I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm just going to smell it to see if it smells too much like chemicals, because some last time I got a foundation, it smelled like pure chemical. And I stopped wearing it because it smelled like chemicals and it really bothered me. So, um, it doesn't really have a smell to it, unless I have really bad smelling buds, if that, is that what you call it? Sense of smell. So yeah, I'm just going to put it on my face. Oh, okay. It looks like it's going on, right? I'm gonna try to blend it with the sponge that it comes with since it's a set. Two for one. Okay, it's taking too long for my liking and I'm very impatient so I'm just gonna go in go in with my damp beauty blender and just do it with this it does the job faster so um, the foundation fairly matches my neck pretty well well not my neck my chest pretty well and um, a big pet peeve of mine is putting foundation on my neck that's what I avoid I really hate putting foundation on my neck because I'm a fidgety person and I like to what's it called like do this a lot and I do not want my makeup to transfer from my neck to my hoodie that's a big no-no for me so I'm gonna go and set my foundation why am I looking at myself I should be looking at you guys so I'm gonna go in with my setting powder my translucent powder for, by Laura Mercier setting powder yeah this one and I'm gonna just set my face and I'll be right back with you guys since this is the first time that I've ever used this foundation I'm actually liking it like the way that it makes me look like it just looks so fucking put together excuse my language it just looks put together and it doesn't look full coverage definitely not full coverage if I said full coverage it's not full coverage because why it doesn't look full coverage it looks medium to little coverage so like it looks like a medium coverage foundation if you don't want a full coverage foundation then go for this one and if you don't want a dewy foundation definitely go for this one so I'm gonna go and do the rest of my makeup and um, I'll be back Hey guys, I'm back and it's been like an hour and I'm finally done my makeup. Like this is what I'm gonna like this is what I'm gonna look like before I leave the house to go to work. So um I'm gonna list everything down in the description box below of all the makeup that I've used, including the what's it called? Um the NARS foundation. And I just to let you guys know I've I've I do I know how to speak English? Okay, just to let you guys know, just to let you guys know, I wanted to be nice and I used the NARS concealer too. Because I didn't want to use a different type of concealer because it just fuck up everything else. So I decided it'd be best to use two of the same brand, the found two of the same brand, as in the foundation and the concealer, which was both mattifying. Okay, so it can like so the results can be better, okay? So like um I also use a matte setting spray if you're wondering and i'm holding my head like this because i'm frustrated so um surprisingly i went through with trying out this foundation because i'm not very um 
I used to not be really open into trying new foundations. Like, I'd be stuck. If I found a good foundation that I really liked, I'd be like, fuck those foundations. Not going to be good for me. So I would just be like, nope, I'm only using this one foundation. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to try that. Nope, no, 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 no. I already have my own that I like. Blah, 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 blah. Like, so on, so on, so on. So if I basically like a product, I'm not going to switch up on it. But now I'm like, I have to be more open to new foundations because um, there could be foundations better than the one that I have. And I think I found the right one. Well, I still got more to test out. You feel me? Okay, so, um, oh my god, I look so cute. I look so cute. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, I look so cute. Like, why am I single? Okay, so I'm gonna go to work now, and I'm gonna come back later tonight at, like, 11 o'clock at night, because, like, I start work at 5 o'clock, and, um, when I come back, I'm gonna... Let, I'm gonna give my impressions on this foundation and I'm gonna tell you guys what I really liked about it and what I didn't like about it So if I come back and I look like this then I fucking love it If I come back and I look like I've been wearing three day old foundation Then I definitely do not like it. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you guys does it crease? Does it not crease? Da -da 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 -da. Does it make you oily? Does it stay mattifying all day? I don't know. I do not know We'll find out later, okay? So, um, other than that, like, I really hope my man notices me today. And I really hope he's at work. Pray for me. So, I'm back from work. And it's, like, um, almost 11 o'clock at night. And my makeup still looks fairly well. Um, so, I'm gonna have to pass this foundation. And, yes, I do like And I do like the way that it came out. And I look fucking great. Like, honestly... This is probably going to be one of the foundations that I use in the future that I'm going to continue using for the future. And, um, yeah, that one's probably going to be my favorite one for now on. But, like, I still got some more to test out. So, thank you so much for watching this video. And I really hope that you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys even though i had a rough day today i cried because i had to walk 20 minutes home but other than that like yo don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and have an amazing night or day or afternoon whatever time it is wherever the hell you are right now